Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the BenQ X1300i gaming projector. Designed to bring a cinematic experience into your home, this projector not only works fantastically for movies and shows, it's specially optimised as an all-in-one ultimate gaming setup. For boundless, beautifully sharp picture quality, it's the perfect choice for all of your favourite content that doesn't restrict you to a single display size. Taking it out of the box, you get the main projector, a remote, a power cable and a QS01 Android TV dongle. The projector itself is quite large, measuring in at about 20cm high, 27cm wide and 26 cm centimeters deep, weighing at around 6.4 kilograms. Looking at the overall design of the projector, it's housed in an all-round white, hard-wearing plastic with a beautiful glass panel on the front, sporting a subtle pattern design framed with a vivid orange accent. The design is nice and simple, built with a handful of inputs and some essential buttons and dials on the side. Although you get a remote, you can control the projector functions from the side alone, turning it on and off, accessing and navigating the menu and switching inputs when wanting to directly alter settings. As you can see, there are quite a lot of vents here, keeping it cool from all angles so fans won't have to work so hard when playing for several hours. Setting it up is quite an easy process, but it takes a bit of time levelling the projector and getting the picture right in your preferred space. Now this projector will require a large white blank wall for projection, as you can see behind me here. But of course, if you don't have this, a projector screen will do the trick. But you will be limited to the size of the screen, and of course some of them do require mounting to walls and ceilings. So just think about where you're going to place your projector before considering this option. The accompanying power cable is unfortunately a little short, with the wire measuring at 88cm long, so you will need to consider using an extension or keeping it close to a power source. Now when it comes to placing the projector, the X1300i gives you two options. Placing it on a table, it's easy to level the projector thanks to the two rubber-coated screw-in legs on the base, tightening or loosening the legs to raise and lower the corners for the perfect angle. Now if you're planning on mounting the projector, there are three 8mm screw holds on the base for attaching to a universal CMG3 ceiling mount. Along the back there's a good portion of inputs available to help connect to a wide variety of devices. Now here we have two 2.0 HDMI ports, a 3.5mm jack 12 volt trigger, a 2.0 type A USB, an optical port and an RS-232 PC port and audio out. But inside the cover on the top of the projector there is a third HDMI connection built into a small cutout for holding the Android TV dongle. It's powered by a connecting USB-C, hiding the whole dongle away to keep things neat and tidy while also protecting it from getting damaged. Now using the dongle grants you access to Android TV, letting you watch thousands of streaming apps and a good portion of the latest popular streaming apps such as Prime Video, Disney Plus and Apple TV. On startup you're taken to the home menu where you can download new apps or stream directly from pre-installed Google properties like YouTube as long as you've established an internet connection. It's even personalised ready for your favourite content when you sign into your Google account. However, there are some setbacks, such as no native Netflix support. Now BenQ have given a workaround to this, showing you how to watch through wireless casting from your PC, phone or tablet. As an example, I tried it through AirPlay on my iPhone, but struggled on certain films and shows. It's highly recommended to use wireless casting through Chromecast supported apps and browsers using the PC wired connection, so there's no interruptions when trying to maintain a wireless connection or consider how much battery life you have to play with. And considering this is a gaming projector, it's also just as easy to watch your favorite favourite streaming apps through your connected console. But overall it's great to see that BenQ have included other options for viewing Netflix content, hopefully opening up the possibility to adding the app in the future. Getting into picture control, the internal projector menu offers a wide variety of personalised picture settings for adjusting the image to match your current content. To start off, you'll need the installation settings to help you adjust the orientation and angle to match the wall perfectly. You can do this in the 2D keystone menu, using the arrow buttons to angle the projection by a few degrees until it sits level along the wall at a comfortable viewing angle. There are picture modes to help instantly switch the picture setup for movies, games and sports, but if you want to refine the picture further, you can alter the brightness and contrast using the the sliders in real time. For the display specifications, you get a native 16x9 aspect ratio with a 1920x1080 resolution and a brightness of 3000 lumens. Interestingly, you get a 4 LED light source, which is brilliant to have within a projector. Now it means that you get an overall brighter picture and a longer lifespan than your average 3 LED system. 
You also benefit heavily when you watch a lot of high resolution content as it fully supports 4K UHD and HDR in both videos and games. I found the picture to be bright enough even when the room has a little bit of natural light. Of course, you do need a truly dark room to get the full effect, but I like that it has the scope to shine through enough even during the day. Playing a few movies and shows in varying light conditions really gave me a good idea on what this projector is capable of. Watching a few movies through Disney+, Plus, the picture was solid and the quality was sharp and clear with no pixelation or flickering. And Animated movies came out bright and colourful, showing HD content in full force, and the colours with live action movies came out natural and true to the intended output. When watching sports, the picture came out bright but not bleached out, maintaining a sharp image even at this scale for catching those all important saves and epic goals. I set the projector about 7 feet away from the wall, and I could get a decent sized image that filled the space for watching those wide cinematic films. Of course, the dials on the side of the lens help alter the focus and picture size precisely enough that I had confidence knowing that I could project it onto any size space that I wanted to. Now the light source in the room and the direction it's coming from do impact quality and brightness considerably. I had the lights off with some natural light coming through the windows to the right, and the picture became washed out and dull but still relatively clear for gaming. Of course with the lights off and all light blocked out overall, the quality was stunning, giving a picture rich in detail with vibrant colours and an even ratio to light and shadow, making it quite close to the intended quality you'd expect when watching on a regular display. Even taking a closer look, the image retained quality with little to no pixelation, thanks to the solid LED projection quality. Though every now and then I did notice the odd red and blue colour bleed around the edges of objects in motion during bright scenes in movies, but as I was sitting relatively close it was more noticeable and would less likely be seen when sitting further back. Predominantly, you'll be wanting to use this projector for playing the latest game titles with your favourite game console. I tested it out on both the Xbox Series X and the PS5, playing a few favourites from racing to shooters to get a good idea on how various content played out. BenQ have supplied the X300i with some fantastic game support modes to really make your gameplay stand out. For a quick picture setup, enabling game mode alters the settings to perfectly match the correct colour, contrast and brightness levels for the best picture. But if you really want to up your game, going into Game Maestro allows you to access more in-depth settings such as FPS, RPG and SPG modes to bring out intricate details specific to the type of game that you're playing. Now I use the RPG mode in Gears of War 5 as it brings out those crucial details with the shadows using the equaliser to weed out hidden enemies while also enhancing virtual surround sound to let me hear where gunshots are coming from for a tactical advantage. Cinematic titles such as Gears 5 on the Xbox Series X and Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the PS5 all look stunning. Everything came out sharp and precise and I didn't touch the picture settings once after initial setup as the quality never wavered between games. Now the two HDMI inputs did help when it came to swapping consoles allowing full seamless play across the board. Playing these next gen titles did feel relatively smooth. I found no issues with common faults such as lag and stuttering which was a relief. Now looking at the Xbox Series X, I was able to play in 4K UHD at 60Hz or in 1080p at 120Hz. I feel I preferred the higher resolution as it helps see the detail in such a large picture, but the 1080p quality wasn't half bad and the smooth image made up for it when playing fast moving levels or racing at high speeds. The same went for the PS5, supporting 120Hz in lower resolutions but offering that 4K quality if I wanted it. It does have built in low latency with 16 milliseconds response time for 4K at 60Hz and 8 milliseconds response time for 1080p at 120Hz. Now I did have fast mode enabled the entire time, so I felt that this did support the game significantly enough to reduce the input lag and keep things running smoothly. Though I did manage to have the fast mode enabled for the majority of gameplay, I sometimes found that the screen would break up when turning it off and then on again. Even after a firmware update, it seems this is still an issue, but I was able to enable it again by just resetting the picture settings. Now it's only a minor inconvenience and it in no way affected the gameplay once it was resolved. Now sound wise, you get two 5 watt speakers that do a brilliant job of projecting sound across the room. I felt the quality was quite decent for playing games as I could turn the volume up quite loud and the sound bounced around the room nicely. In movies, speech was very clear, but I often found the background music a little low to pick up at times. It's hard to give you a complete idea of the true sound output, but here are a few sound samples to give you an idea of the quality on offer here. Mm. Smells delicious. Oh, honey, that's because it is delicious. I made it myself. So I 
after using this projector for a few hours, it's safe to say that it's a real contender for viewing all of your favourite content. Movies and shows look spectacular in low light, offering beautiful colour and contrast in animated films and beautifully sharp cinematic detail in my favourite movies. Gameplay felt so much more immersive, being able to project it across the wall instead of being confined to the size of a screen. There were a few hiccups in places, but overall there were problems that could easily be solved, and with everything running at top spec, I could easily see myself using this projector on a daily basis. So what do you think about the BenQ X1300i gaming projector? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.